what we did in the previous attempts and even this one is what's called a function declaration. You are declaring a function. It is, uh, you're, you're saying, hey, this is a function and this is the logic that I want to execute when that function is called. Okay, so this is typically referred to as function declaration. Function declaration is one of two ways in which you can create functions. There are uh, two primary ways, I should say. The other primary way of creating functions is what's called a function expression. In order to explain what function expression is, I should tell you about functions in JavaScript and their peculiar nature when compared to methods in C++ and Java. You remember in unit one, I mentioned that functions in JavaScript are what are called first class values, which means that functions are actually values in JavaScript. Just as much as a string is a value or the number 100 is a value. Similarly, functions are also values, okay? This is different from the function returning a value. Functions return a value in all those languages, but the function itself is a value in JavaScript. Okay, let me demonstrate that. Uh, I'm gonna clear all this thing out. Think of a typical uh, you know, variable holding a value. So let's say I have a var a equals hello. All right, so what am I doing here? I'm having an inline string called hello, which is a value. I'm assigning that value to a variable, which is a, okay? Similarly, I can create a variable, let's say f, and then create a function and assign a function to the variable, okay? I'm not executing the function and assigning the return type, okay? I'm assigning the function itself. Function is a thing which gets assigned to the variable, okay? It's a little bit weird, but go with me here. So let's say I have a var f equals, and just like I created an inline string, I can create an inline function. So let's say I have a function, uh, I'm gonna call this foo, and Let's see, I have console.log, hello. All right, so with this, I have created a function and assigned it to the variable f, okay? This, this part is what we saw before, right? This was a function declaration. We declared a function called foo. So not only can you do that, you can take that declared function and assign it to the variable f in this case. Now f is going to contain the function, okay? The function is not executed yet. I cannot stress that enough. A lot of people see this and go, hey, foo is gonna execute and then the return value is assigned to f. No, that doesn't happen. The function itself is assigned to f, okay? Now, once the function is assigned to a variable, you can use that variable in order to execute the function, okay? So wherever I have uh, something like this, where f contains the function. Now I can say f, open close, just like I could with the other uh, function uh, declaration that we did before, okay? Now when I do this, JavaScript is gonna say, okay, f is being executed as a function, so let me check the value of f and see if that value happens to be a function instance. Turns out it's a function instance, so the JavaScript interpreter is gonna execute that function and console.log should be printed on, you know, the hello should be printed on the console. Let's try that, and there you go, hello gets printed. 